Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Janet Barbieto. Uh, for those of you who might be watching my very first video, um, I have been in network marketing for uh, somewhere over 20 years now. Uh, my big sister did a company when I was just in high school. My dad owned his own business, so uh, you know, network marketing and direct sales was just... Uh, seemed to be a perfect fit for me. Um, just seemed to make a whole lot of sense. So today I want to talk about um, team duplication. So uh, when we sign up in network marketing, we are immediately told this is how we get our team to work. This is how we get our team to uh, print, copy what we do and duplicate exactly what um, we as leaders do. So, um, some people, I think, um, maybe don't realize that this is not a completely hard and fast rule. So, I just wanted to touch on a few things that is going to guarantee that your team duplication is going to go up. So, when we get in, we automatically think of, you know, we look at all of the leaders in your particular company, your particular industry, and we say, okay, she did this to get to this level. He did this to get to this level. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Unfortunately, that doesn't exactly work because you're not exactly them. You're not exactly her and you're not exactly him. So the things that they did aren't going to work exactly the same as they did for them. They're not going to do the exact same thing. You're not going to have the exact same um, results that this person over here did and this person over here did. So I think when people think of team duplication, they think um, they think that you have to uh, take this whole system right here and do it step by step by step by step. But let me ask you this. So say this leader over here made her millions uh, or her built her team or, you know, whatever you mark success by. People on your team, the amount of money you're making, um, whatever it may be. So they reach success by um, getting on the phone and calling people. You know, they were cold calling. That was just where they shined and that was just where um, they were the most comfortable. And they had probably done other companies that had given them training on calls and things like that and, you know, how to do those, those cold call presentations. Well, that's great. And some people are just naturals at certain ways to prospect and market. Is everybody going to be an expert that joins this person's team at cold calls? No, because there are just some people that just aren't made for that. They need to be face to face. They need to be... Um, uh, networking and building a relationship maybe online um, through Facebook and, and all these other sites that we have. There are tons of ways. I literally mean tons and tons of ways to market and to network with people and to prospect. So you have a million choices out there. So if you've got one or two at the top of your upline that did things in a particular way, it's fine to learn from them. Look at what the leaders did, but then play it to your strengths. So, if I made my success, my business through cold calls, I can't go down and tell every single person in my downline to pick up the phone and call 20 people randomly out of the phone book. They're not going to be successful because they don't feel comfortable doing that. That's not their strength. So you wouldn't want somebody 
sitting on the phone, it's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to talk to this person. I don't want to have to go through this. There's no connection here. So if you've got somebody that really excels at face-to-face -face meetings, they just have this great personality. They do really well at live events. They do. So it wouldn't make sense to tell this person who obviously is so great at you know, face-to-face -face presentations, face-to-face um, -face marketing, in person, um, sitting down and getting to chat with somebody, you know, building a relationship. You wouldn't want to put that person on the phone and say, here, make your 20 phone calls so that this, that this is exactly what I did to become successful. So you have to do the exact same thing I did. So <clears throat> people today are strong in a lot of different ways. There are some people that are really good at getting on Facebook and Twitter and all these others and just networking, you know, cross country everywhere. Then you have some people that are uh, much more comfortable, you know, being on the phone and not having to be face to face. Everybody has a little different strength. So as a leader in our industry, duplication is a must. You have to figure out how to get your team to duplicate. But taking this one thing right here that everybody did and say, now you have to follow this to a T and that's how you're going to become successful. That's not going to work. You have to, this is where getting to know your team comes in. You have to personally reach out to those who sign up in your team. You have to personally reach out to them and you have to build a relationship with them. You have to find out where their strengths lie and you have to help them build those strengths so that they can duplicate. So the whole point is, yes, teaching your team to duplicate is huge, but instead of teaching the exact systems that you had put in place, Teach them the tips that they can then apply to each different thing, to their strengths. You know, teach them how to, um, the verbiage, to overcome this objection or whatever else that, you know, they may get in a uh, face-to-face, -face, they may get on a phone call, they may get uh, on a private message on Facebook, whatever it may be. Give them these tips, give them these different techniques that they then can apply to their strengths. Like I said, you don't want somebody that just excels at recruiting and everything on a face-to-face -face basis and stick them on the phone because that's what you did to become successful. But you can teach them the verbiage that you used to speak to different potentials in different situations. So everybody knows in network marketing that the secret to network marketing is to build leaders and help them become successful. Duplication is one of the most important things out there in our company, but so are our team's strengths. And it's very important that we build on those strengths because then your team's gonna feel comfortable. They're gonna say, oh, I can do this. You know, I, I'm okay doing that. You know, there's a lot of things we don't feel comfortable about and videos is one of them. So I'm not saying don't do the videos because you don't feel comfortable. I'm saying take your uplines techniques and those different things and apply them and find a way to make yourself feel more comfortable doing the video. Okay, so you can't say, I don't feel comfortable talking to people, so I'm just not gonna recruit. Well, that's not gonna do any good for your business. So. You have to look at all these leaders. We have tons of leaders in the industry. Look at these leaders. See what they did to build themselves to the point of where they are. And don't be surprised when you see that it's a whole lot of hard work. It really is. Um, <clears throat> staying uh, relevant and staying active on all these different social media pages and uh, doing our videos and everything on here, it's work. It is but it's also our priorities. You know, we, we had to decide, okay, what is more important, you know, me being comfortable or me being successful. So 
you really have to step out of your comfort zone on a few things. There's just no way around it. You're not going to be comfortable with everything. And no, you won't be good at every technique immediately either. That's where it takes a little bit of work. If you ever want to see how bad videos can be, go over to my YouTube page. <laughs> and I left maybe my uh, first one or two videos over there. They were just terrible, terrible, terrible. And, um, you know, today I get a lot of questions about how do you do Facebook Live videos and YouTube videos and everything else without being scared to death. Well, I'm not going to lie. I usually do the sweating and, the, you know, all that kind of stuff before I get on here. I do it every single time. But I promise you, they do get easier. And every technique that you practice gets easier. And it's going to make it so much more easy if... That's not even good English, is it? It's going to make it so much easier <laughs> if you are already strong in these areas. So it's just like if you're, if you're not comfortable with something, it's going to be even harder for you to perfect that technique. And yes, that may be something that your upline used to, you know, just be super successful. But you're not her you don't have the exact circle of friends that she had you don't have the exact situation she had so what's going to work for you is learning what they did looking at what they did picking it apart seeing the techniques look at the verbiage they used look at all these different little details and then put them in and Link them with your strengths, and I guarantee you that it's going to help your team duplication because they're going to feel more comfortable about it. They're going to feel more positive, and they're, they're going to feel like, hey, I can do this. You know, I'm good at this part already. I got this nailed. I got this down. So that's what you want. You want to build to their strengths, and you want to make sure they're successful. And every single person on your team is individual. None of them is going to get the exact results that whoever did in your upline. It just doesn't work that way. So, guys, if you have any questions uh, ever for me, just like any other video that we've ever done, uh, reach out to me. Um, comment down here. You know. Let me know, even if you're watching this on the re on a replay later on today. I know these things kind of hang around Facebook for a really long time. And, uh, of course, I'll put it on, over on my YouTube channel. But, uh, yes, don't ever be afraid to reach out to me to ask questions to, uh, no matter what company you're in or anything else. You know, ask me. I'm more than happy to sit on uh, Facebook chat with you. And uh, let's work this thing out. Let's see where you're the strongest and you know, see what techniques we can apply to uh, your strengths to get your duplication going for your team and make them feel comfortable and set them up for success. So, guys, I wanted to share just a few little tidbits with you today, but I will see you later. Bye.